baseball fans, and welcome. MLB The Show has action out of the NL Central. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates and the Milwaukee Brewers. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, just about set to go. And taking the ball for Milwaukee, Freddie Peralta. Well, he's allowing just over one base runner per inning, which is really good, especially for a starter, because these hitters get to see you two, three, maybe even four times in a start. So it just shows you how deceptive and how effective his stuff is. We'll see if it's that way in this one. Andrew McCutcheon stands in here, takes ball one low. The wind of the pitch. There's the strike. I mean, that's perfect location right on the black. I mean, over and over again, this guy demonstrates the ability to hit those spots. They're so tough to do anything with as a hitter. Here's a one-two. And another ball. pitch that one just misses really good take especially with two strikes on its way to the corner on the run towards the line and he can't quite get there it's a foul ball and a foul ball he stays alive gets a piece there we'll do it again Looking, and he didn't lock the ball. Well, he should get some fist bumps when he gets back into the dugout because even though he strikes out, he saw a lot of pitches and he battled. And this is a long haul where you're trying to get that pitch count off as early as possible. So gave the guys behind him an opportunity to see what's working for this pitcher or not. But I tell you what, it's a nice job right there. Righty to the plate. There's a strike. One out, base is empty. Got it by him for the go. Well, there appears to be no problem settling in on the mound out there today. It looks pretty tough to start this one. Punched out the first two hitters of this ball game. And somebody's going to have to put the bat on the ball, put it in play, and get something going. Here's O'Neill Cruz. The shortstop takes the ball. Center field. Sizes this one up. He's got it. And that is out number three. Half inning complete. We've got no score. family field and on the hill the lefty Bailey Falter and Chris pitching on the road has not been particularly kind to him yeah and you don't want to be too quick to say that he can't pitch on the road sometimes you know it's just a matter of luck it's not having a feel difference between the bullpen mound to the mound out there on the playing field don't know what it is but I know this he's got good enough stuff to overcome and get it done on the road as well as at home so we'll see what he's able to do in this one slapped foul
Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. New pitcher on now, Martin Perez. Well, he's been a really tough guy to take deep this season. You usually have to string some hits together in order to get to him. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error. But some way, you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. And now it's William Contreras. Out in front with the swing, and that is strike one. Next offering is downstairs. Bullpen action for the Pirates. Jared Jones getting ready to go. One down, base is empty. That's Two down balls, and in. One strike. And a pitch. Fights it off. He'll see another. The pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. The wind and the pitch. That one in the dirt. And that's ball three. the pitch that one ripped left field and it's gone home run he jacks that one out to left and the Brewers have the lead it's one nothing he kept swinging and it paid off well that was a battle boo again he just kept taking his cuts finally squared one up Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Here's Yelich at the dish. First oh, pitch, and he just misses. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. There's a strike. That one, one missed. Two one. Good eye in that spot. And that's ball four. That's ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter that didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Willie Adamas stands in. Perez checks over to first, and he's back. And that's a little bit high. And that's ball one. Right through there for a strike. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way.
and it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. He's been a great free agent side. And there's the strike. Perez checks the runner. Yelich dives back in. Kicks and deals. Swung on, belted. That ball's carrying. And it is out of here. It's their second home run of the inning, and they add on. It's 4 nothing. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. like he's playing wiffle ball up there and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run to the slight opposite field into the gap man making it look easy that's for sure Jared Jones gets handed the rock out of the pen should be a good first matchup for him here he's been doing a great job against right-handed bats so far this season they've had a lot of trouble squaring him up One down. Joseph Ortiz up now for the Brewers. Ripped on the ground a second. The throw to got first. It. Got the out. Got it, seven. Let's take a look at the Brewers lineup. A guy who's been huge for them over the last month plus, Willie Adamas. Well, Boog, there aren't many guys who have a flair for the big moment like he does. I mean, batting over 400 with runners in scoring position. Are you kidding me? I know it's not guaranteed or an automatic, but I hope we get to see him in a close late game situation with runners in scoring position and just see, is he truly a machine or not? Two out spaces empty. And that's inside. off the inside edge. One ball, one strike. Gets a piece and stays alive. Two outs. Foul ball still a one and two count. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability. Now ah, that's strike three and the third out. So we take a break. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now a four nothing ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Second inning, set to go. Now it's the DH, Connor Joe. Peralta back to work. Just missed. He's already pitching with a 4 nothing lead, so we should see him be aggressive. Fill up the strike zone, don't issue free passes. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. In the air right field. Chorio calls it in, and there's one away. The right fielder, Jack Sawinski. Jack Sawinski, the next pirate to hit. First pitch misses. A lot of pitchers have caught on to how good he is hitting the first pitch. Smart to avoid the zone right there. Bounce to the left side. 
throw to first oh. is in time. Well, I believe we talked about how the ball is coming out of a pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Now the third baseman. Fought off foul. The Brewers leading by four here at the top of the second. Next the offering ball. is down low. Wouldn't oh, chase that time. Down. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that'll do it. Bottom half of inning number two. Now it's going to be Blake Perkins. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside, for just a second, Chris. It's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Right through there for a strike. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. And here is Jackson Chorio. And what makes him even quicker is the fact that he's so dialed in on the pitch as it's moving through the hitting zone. He can see how that hitter's lined up, what he's trying to do, and where that pitch is going to end up, which gives him that really quick first step. And that's why he makes so many great plays. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Sawinski settles under it and makes the catch. Two down. The batter, number two, second baseman. Back to the top of the Milwaukee order. Bryce Terang up now for the Brewers. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two down, nobody on. Bottom half of inning number two. And a foul ball. Right hander kicks deals. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. That was loud contact and a no doubt double off the bat. I didn't know it was going to land in the bullpen, though. And he's really improving his accuracy out there. It's almost like he tried to do it. Now a chance for William Contreras. He's already homered here in this one. Right through there for a strike. Terang stands at second with two gone. That one hit to right. Makes the grab and that'll end the inning. Milwaukee leaves one. They lead four nothing. half of the third inning and here's the first baseman the first base, Rowdy Telez Rowdy Tellez. the wind of the pitch and that one hammered Chorio going back pulls it in on the warning track this is Joey Bart. Pitch is in for a strike. Going one. one, one. And this is inside. Base is empty one away. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Gets him to chase after that one. Clearly he was one sitting ball. on a fastball Two right strike. there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him that for his commitment. Him. Now he's just gonna have to battle with two strikes.
three. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two away down. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. Alika Williams, the next pirate to hit. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Oh, one's the count. Kicks and fires. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Under it. Makes the catch, and that is that. Back here in Milwaukee, and now it's Christian Yelich. For the Brewers, no left Jones, 22 years old, and he was a second round pick in 2020. Nope. Upstairs. Well, these Brewers doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. And here's a stat for you, Boo. Ball, they're making contact point. with more than 85% of the pitches that they're swinging at. It's pretty special stuff. Not so good if you're out there on the mound. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And now the shortstop, Willie Adamas. Slider clips the corner. Just missed. Aye. Next offering is in for a strike. Started after the 1 2 pitch. Appeal to first. No swing. He held up. Clyde Washington with the call there. The 2 2. Just misses with that one. He missed the zone, but I don't think he missed his spot. That was a good pitch with two strikes. That one ripped. And out of here. He'll circle the bases. It's his eighth home run of the year, and they add to their lead. It's six nothing. Those are the bats that leave pitchers exhausted. He had to throw a lot of pitches and still gave up the long ball. That's a bad combo. Lightning fast hands to be able to hit that velocity fastball on the inside part of the plate. In my experience, when you're looking out over the plate, allowing the ball to travel, it's pure reaction to hit a pitch in that location. That's a tremendous swing. That one fouled off. Oh, one down. Ball oh. one there. Nobody on, nobody out. A pair of runs across in the inning here in the last half of the third. Nope. Breaking inside. ball inside. Ball and it's two and one. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. Pop foul out of play off to the right. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Ground ball up the middle, into the outfield, base hit. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. And now, Joseph Ortiz right through there for a strike. Rudder at first with no outs here. Oh. 
That Ball misses the zone, outside. and now it's even one and one. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. One ball, two strikes. And the right hater deals. Ball. That misses the zone. Two and two. It's a good take. Goes down looking. Boog, he was shopping at the buckle right there, the way that That's slider that made him look. That was just down. nasty. Gary. Gary Sanchez at the plate. That's Went down on strikes his first time through. Hey. There's a strike. Hoskins, the base runner at first with one out. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Don't play situation here. He's been working up in the zone. Typically, you look for guys to get that ground ball. See if he adjusts on this next pitch. 0-2 oh now. That one oh, is upstairs. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. Man, there was no deviating from the fastball right Center there. He just kept coming 16. after him with it. Here it is. Hit it if you can. And right he just there. couldn't find a way to put it in play. Perkins oh, in the box now as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. Fouled off to the right. Two outs. That's a hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get yeah. So they turn things over to the righty, Paul Steens. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Next for Milwaukee, Jackson Chorio. He's 0 for 1. That one at triple digits. Two outs, couple of base runners at first and second. Ground ball to go. That's a base hit. Around third. Fires it to the plate. The tag, and he's in there. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there's just no one there to knock it down. This is Bryce Terang. One for two. There's a strike. Foul ball there. And down on strikes. And that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. Three runs, five hits, no errors, but two are left stranded. On to inning number four. It's the Brewers seven and the Pirates nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Andrew McCutcheon.
Here comes a pitch. And yeah, that's outside. He swings and fouls one off. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, I want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little Aye. bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. And a pitch. Next offering ball. misses down and away. Three That's two cool. now. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Perkins under it. And there's one away. The left wheel, number 10. Brian. Brian Reynolds here. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Right down to shoot. And that's strike one. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. Yeah, that ball, skips in the dirt. The Pirates yet to pick up a hit here. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. And oh, another ball. Down. One down, base is empty. He goes down looking. Up next for Pittsburgh. O'Neill Cruz, the next pirate to hit. Cruz, struggling on the road this season, better results at home. There's a strike. Oh, and one. That nope. one close oh. ruled a ball, and it's one and one. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. The one one is fouled off. Oh, that's inside. That's two and two. Right side, and it goes just foul. And a base hit up the middle. And that keeps the inning going. Connor Joe, the next pirate to hit. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Off the of first with two away. Peralta picks over. Cruz dives back in safely. That one off the mark. Now two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. And there's a foul ball. Two two now. Battling here as he fouls it away. Just ball, off the inside right. edge. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap. Slider got him for a strike three. Pirates leave one, not going their way. It's seven nothing.
And we're back, ready to go, bottom four. Leading off, William Contreras. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Yeah, there's the strike. Not sure if he was expected for the pitcher to come right at him, but he got a nice cookie there and just watched it the entire way. Just missed. He caught it behind his back. And that's a great play for the out. Off-speed pitch, and it looked like he just continued his momentum towards home plate after releasing that perfect position to make a play and help himself out. Now it's Christian Yelich. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Hit on the ground to the right side. The flip to the He's pitcher out. covering. Already two gone here in the home fourth. Up next to Milwaukee. Not shortstop. Willie. Not Willie Adamas. Adamas. Up now for the Brewers. He's already homered in this game. Hey. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Boom. That's oh, cheddar, baby. Count. The Brewers up big in this one. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Swing and a miss. Oh, and two now. Well, two outs and a chance to put up a zero on the scoreboard here, and that's not something that's come easy for this staff in this one. And he grounds one to the right side. He steps on the bag, and Milwaukee is set down in order. Brewers go down quietly, and they hold a 7-0 lead. We go to the top of the fifth at the plate for Pittsburgh. Jack Sawinski. And the pitch. Swing at a foul over the screen and back out of play. You know, these Pirates, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They have yet to draw a walk, and that's a stat that can go both ways. Credit the pitcher or question the offense's approach. But either way, zero free passes in this one, and that's making it tough to get anything going. Felt well, definitely a borderline pitch right there, and he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter, but with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Here's the third baseman. Fly to left his first time. Fastball yeah. ball for a strike. 0-1-1. One, one. The why to kick the pitch. Now That's one and one. This lineup is having a tough time a finding a good straight. rhythm at the plate. Their swings are disjointed, which tells me they're having issues with pitch recognition. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. The Brewers up big in this one, and we're at the top of the fifth. Good job to fight that one off. and misses it's a strikeout definitely made him chase a little bit out of his own right there I don't think that's a strike if he takes it pretty textbook pitching get ahead in the count get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage swing it a foul straight back left hand hitter waits they're down to their final strike Looking sharp, just a strike All away from five shutout innings. A sliding stop. The throw. And what a play. Ball game. 
Well, we saw complete domination in this one. The offense exploded for a blowout, and then the pitching staff nails, locked down the opponent. This team did everything right today. This one ends 7-0. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.